guys welcome to yo yo tv today i'm going to interview a beautiful and energetic and uh, you know a very controversial sensational director of course here you can see rgb company so here i am uh, let's go we'll shoot out some questions to him okay come let's go hello sir yeah so you're looking fantastic eh? <laughs> what <laughs> fabulous act as usual so uh, first question from my side is like uh, in rgv's view what is inner beauty and what is outer beauty see i honestly believe the inner beauty as a word is mostly talked by people who do not have outer beauty okay in other words if uh, i am given a preference between inner beauty and outer beauty i'll prefer outer beauty yeah so i'm just asking like what exactly like Uh, outer beauty is appearance. Yeah, correct. So yeah. inner beauty is. Yeah, I mean inner beauty is a more. I mean I think it's a very relative word because if someone has done something good for a person, but that does not necessarily mean that person will do the same for everyone. It, it in a context. So I think the same person can be good and bad for two different people depending on their experience. So I turn. I think inner beauty cannot be generalized unless it's in a context. Which kind of emotion Archie likes? Don't say I'm an emotional person because. Uh, I mean, which kind of emotion? I think anything which makes you feel nice, anything makes me makes gives you a high, which gives you a feeling of exhilaration. Yeah. So uh, I I think about R J V like he's not scared of anything. He's fearless. So from your childhood. Yeah. Till now, have you uh, scared or afraid of anything, any object or person or a situation? Is like that. see the i mean i feel fear comes from the fundamental aspect that uh, when you value something you 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 you're scared of losing it it could be life it could be your wealth it could be your name it could be anything like that i as a person do not value anything so when i do not value anything i don't have a fear of losing it and when i don't have fear of losing it i never get scared or you uh, you don't cherish any anything like yeah i no, don't nothing so apart from women uh, what makes you attractive don't say what i think no i like power i mean i i like powerful people i like world events i like dramatic events which kind of create energy you know so now you are you now uh, in this world like you are a powerful man you are one of the powerful men so what do you want to comment about it Yes or no? Like I mean, see, power is something you you having an ability to do what you feel like doing. So I pretty much can do what exactly whatever I wish to do. So which obviously means powerful, but that powerful might not be a generalized definition from someone else's perspective. You know. So from the time I'm, my my view of success is from the time you get up in the morning till you sleep in the night, you should be able to do anything you feel like doing, which gives you a high. You know. So I pretty much do that, yeah. So few people in this um, society thinks R G V is a god, and few thinks R G V is a ghost. Yeah. So actually, what is R G V? Please don't say human being. <laughs> yeah, no, no. See, see, I don't think that is a context. You know, I think that again comes to the same thing. What we're talking about the so-called inner beauty, that depends directly upon the experience of each of them of what they had with me. So sometimes who who thought I was a ghost also thought I was God. on the other way around who thought it was a god again when the experience change they again change everyone says like for every person if someone says about me like tell me about yourself i'll say like okay i'm some some sensitive or emotional person vagera vagera so what do you want to say about yourself when someone ask you to say i mean i don't think about myself i only think about what i am doing and i don't think about myself per se and what i am doing is related to my work and then i can only talk about my work not about myself as you said you are a selfish so you think about yourself selfish means that so now you are telling me i'm not what? thinking about myself i'm thinking about I the work i think about whatever gives me happiness and my work gives me happiness so as a corollary i only can expand on my definition of myself related to the work and this is a very stupid question but still i want to ask you work and women which one you want to give vote for I think I actually managed to combine both of them. That's no. a lovely answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's uh, that's an expected answer too. Yeah. So when coming to your movies, 
so whichever you choose uh, whichever you pick the movie you want to make somewhere it has a connection to some other person or a some situation it's some somewhere it is relevant to something why is it why is that coincidence happening all the time for that creative uh, mind because i pick up my stories from real life i pick up stories from what is happening around mm -hmm. what's happening in the world mm -hmm. my characters the situations and sequences and the story ideas i always pick them from real real life but uh, you uh, you you show them like as if it's totally opposite or it's not very much relevant to the real stories but you pick the incident but uh, you will not show the real one it's not my opinion it's a audience opinion they say the same thing like for example power star uh, the new movie it's coming you have uh, have you picked it from a real incident yes okay uh, uh, shall i know i mean real incident is about it so many times actors try to become politicians uh, and uh, sometimes they fail sometimes they succeed and depends on the situation and time and all that so this is just like a inspired from one some such incidents which are kind of combined uh, taking from here and there and they designed a the character yeah that's a, but the story is not true what you are saying it's it's no, a fictional, it is fictional yes but the true story is different true story don't know if it happened also this is just from my is a fiction basically by definition is what which comes from your imagination okay so then the question of it based it being real doesn't exist when it's fiction do you believe in ghosts do they exist see i neither believe in ghosts nor god but uh, it is not a question of belief because uh, we are talking about entities which are beyond my uh, so what do you call uh, uh, my sphere of understanding but i will say i have chosen not to believe and then because it suits my purpose not to believe so i won't say they exist or they don't exist but rather believe they don't exist because life becomes easier for me when i neither do I believe in god or a ghost till now uh, in your life is there any bad moment or a bad situation where you want to cry no i never cry you know ne you never cry and uh, for example uh, i know you have a wife and a daughter apart from them if you want to uh, have a life partner i know you don't want yeah, to yeah, be yeah. Uh, i'll give you three options hot uh, crazy and understandable which one do you want to pick in in a woman in a woman of course life partner is like for you is a woman right so i i don't want anyone understanding because uh, i understand myself i don't need someone else to understand me because i don't look for acceptance i don't look for a kind of a endorsement so i don't need anyone to understand me you know because anyone understands me bores me actually you know and uh, and uh, yeah second one is what hot, hot. Uh, crazy crazy of course not because i i believe in rationality and uh, any kind of an irrational behavior is something which irritates me a lot so not that but i think hot yes hmm. yeah. but i think rjv is like a craziest person i have ever seen see there's a line of uh, niche a uh, german philosopher he said if you can't listen to my music you won't understand my dance you know so everybody's sensibility is in direct relationship to what he is feeling for himself and his feeling comes from his sensibility and uh, his, his absorption his analysis and there are so many factors which cannot be to be, be the same for two different individuals so one person looking crazy for that that person also other person can look crazy because rational rationality cannot be generalized like i usually feel uh, archiv is a teacher to the society because uh, he does whatever he likes that is that is actually the human has to do like yeah. that is what all humans wish so what do you want to say to this society like to be like me or you no know, i do suffer i do not believe in telling anything to anybody i feel everyone i mean i believe uh, very strongly in the andrandian objectivist uh, principle that i will not ask anyone to live for my sake neither will i live for someone else's sake i feel each individual has to make the choice for himself or herself the way they want to live so that automatically follows you should never ever advise someone so i neither do advise someone nor do i take anyone's advice so what is rgv greedy about 
Anything? I am greedy about uh, wanting to see as many beautiful women as possible. To see? Yeah. Just to see? Yeah. yeah. Partly, yeah. <laughs> then, um, in recent movies, I have seen your uh, 12 o'clock teaser. Uh, 12 o'clock uh, movie teaser. It's all about again um, the ghosts and all yeah. those things. So, what can we expect? Is the same RGV back like he's. No, that's uh, a scary film. I mean, depending on how people will like it, it's a, it's a horror film. I mean, a horror film by definition is something which deals with the supernatural. So, uh, what can we expect from that film? Like, uh, it's a horror film, I know, but uh, I want you to like. Is any message? I, I think there's no message from your uh, films. We can take whatever we want. That's the only message. But uh, still, I'm I'm eagerly. I'm, I want to ask you. Like, is there any message in that scariest film, or or even in the Power Star film? Is there any message to the no, society see, or the message, people? First of all, the message is a word is very. Uh, I mean, is it about preaching someone? Is it about telling something what is good or bad? I don't think first of all any movie does it. I never seen a message oriented film for all the talk they have. So, I just think it's a kind of a wish or a belief that, uh, say, this film should have a nice message. I don't remember seeing a single message in the film for all the question, importance of this question. So, uh, Shiva, uh, we'll talk about the movie Shiva. So, everyone in the industry uh, will tell uh, movies like before Shiva and after Shiva. So, how do you feel about it? Even so many people. I mean, see, I always maintain this. She, Great films happen, nobody makes them. If I knew how to make a great film like Shiva, why did I make flops? So I put in the same effort, something just happens to be great and something doesn't. Okay? Same Ramesh Sipi made Shole, same Ramesh Sipi made something bad. Same Francis Coppola made Godfather, he made others which didn't work. So I don't think anyone can take credit for making a film. You can do your effort and something might suddenly come out of it, which no one can expect or predict. But even this uh, director uh, work is uh, creativity. So where does that, uh, that fragile creativity comes from you? Like what is the reason? Is there any inspiration? I mean, I yeah, it is definitely. So I, th I think it comes from uh, primarily two sources. Because I was a voracious reader of books and I used to watch a lot of films. and I, very keenly observe what's happening around in terms of uh, psychological aspects to dramatic events and I study and research a lot on that, yeah. What do you want to become in, in your next life, if there is, if at all there is a next life for you as a human being, what do you want to become? I want to become? Uh, yeah. What do you want to become? I really don't have any any kind of a particular aspiration that I want to become something. I probably want to become a director again. What do you want to say about like Sri Devi Garu? Like yeah. You, you, you worship her, right? You told in many interviews, you have yeah. told in many interviews. You want to worship uh, Sri Devi Garu. Uh, you don't want to become like a Boni Kapoor? <laughs> no. I mean, I'd rather worship her. I mean, nobody wants to, uh, I mean, no devotee will ever want to marry a goddess. Why is that uh, that huge respect you are having for uh, only for the Sri Devi or for all the women you well, see? I have respect for women a lot. You still stay with your family or? No. no. Uh, do you like, I'm sorry to ask you. Uh, you have a daughter, right? Yeah. Uh, every like uh, father and daughter relationship is a very beautiful thing and mothers and every, any kind of uh, parents and children relationship is a unique thing. Uh, what RG wants to say about that uh, father and daughter relationship? I don't have anything. I don't believe in families and uh, my daughter calls me by name and I hardly uh, speak to her at all. In one uh, interview I saw, uh, he uh, she gave one word for you like some crack or mental. Species. And she, yeah, yeah. She, uh, yeah, species and one more, uh, he asked, she asked you to google it and uh, meaning for it some, somewhere I heard about it. No, you usually talk to your uh, family as well? No, no, very, very rare. Very, very rare. And um, coming to the films again, uh, this power stern, I have seen one song. Rather than calling it as a song, we can call it as a rhyme. Yeah. So, so it's your uh, lyrics you have written. Yes. 
So what do you want to comment about it? Like, uh, no, it just comes in a situation in the film and I wanted it to be very simplistic like a nursery rhyme kind of a tune. So why is like that whatever, uh, whatever RGV does, whatever, even if it, it's not a song, it's not like a pop song or anything, it's just a rhyme but still it goes millions views or thousand views or what, what does RGV is doing to people? What is that? Uh, I, why think, is, uh, I think it is just a stark reality, a no nonsense guy. And I just say it the way it is without uh, sugar coating it and without uh, being boringly uh, politically correct and morally correct. I just say it the way I feel and I think uh, people connect to that honesty. You created it by yourself or it's I just happened? I, hap I just happen to be like that. You, I was you always like that. Yeah. Recently like uh, Naked movie is released and uh, Repaka has become uh, very popular with one movie. It's just uh, credit goes to you sir. So, uh, we are hearing that she is going to enter in Big Boss 4 season. So, it, it's, it's, it's just all your credits. Yeah. Is it true? Like, how do you feel about it? Yeah, but you see, the point is that she's done it with so much of conviction and if anything good happens to her, I'll be happy for her. Uh, what do you think about this Big Boss season concept, like Big Boss concept? Uh, locking up all the 14 or 15 contestants in one place and uh, having so much of fun, games and all those things. What do you think about it? See, I actually, the only time I saw Big Boss was when Sunny Leone came because I'm, I'm a huge fan of Sunny Leone. Except for that one episode, I never saw Big Boss. I don't even know how it uh, actually it is there. What do you like most in Sunny Leone? As you told, like uh, you adore her much. So, uh, What do I like in Sunny Leone? Of course, her body. And uh, because I love porn, and she's my one of my most favorite porn stars. And why I else would anybody <laughs> like Sunny Leone? No, no, no. Because <laughs> no, sir, it's not no, like that. Because I, I no, saw no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'll tell you. Actually, I like her inner beauty. Yes, that's and, what uh, I want. I yeah. like her extraordinary intelligence, and I, I love the educational qualification she has. And I love it that uh, she loves her parents and she's a very good uh, patriotic citizen and uh, she's, uh, she's got a very motherly kind of a heart, the way she takes care of children. I love everything about her except that she is a porn star. Except she's a porn star, you love everything. This is, <laughs> sir, you're making fun of me, right? <laughs> There's a lot of memes and trolls are coming like about RGV. Have you ever watched them, sir? Uh, the thug life, especially the thug life. Yeah, some I watched. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you feel? Like it's very. Funny. Yeah, it's okay. It's, I mean, I mean, the people just want to laugh and make fun of others, and I think it's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, the sort of whole point of life is to uh, constantly keep making fun of somebody else. Yeah. If we s if we look up to you, like. You want to do whatever you want. That is your wish. But yeah. where does this all philosophical things and uh, matured things have come for you? Like from where it has uh, emerged actually? I think uh, predominantly it's books. I mean, I, I, like I said, as a voracious reader in my, when I was in my college. And I think a book is something you can, you can uh, in a few hours, you can experience a lifetime's work of somebody's thinking and somebody's experiences. So the more you read, I think the more it sharpens your mind, it broadens your horizon of thinking and your vision expands and your analytical powers uh, increase. I think so many things it does, yeah. Uh, what is your uh, highest goal? Like if you achieve that, then you will be satisfied. Uh, First of all, uh, not, uh, I, I don't think that can happen because a human being can never be satisfied because satisfaction by its definition is a state of boredom. But because a high is going to come only when you are trying to seek something, you know. When you achieved it, it becomes normal. So then it becomes boring. So you have to get another no, but, uh, uh, excitement. Yeah, in in uh, my opinion, like yeah. not in my opinion, I've I've read like satisfaction means a happiness. Okay, other than like more than satisfaction, it may turns into greedy. Which may turns into other other but, conflicts. But I like think like those uh, words are very relative. No, I'm a very greedy, selfish person. I think they're good. But you are harmless, right? I I don't know. Harmless mm. is again a very uh, relative word. I mean, somebody might think I'm harmful. Like, you know, somebody might think I am uh, something else. I think uh, that depends upon the experience that particular person has. I don't think one can say I'm harmless. 
so whatever movies you are making so many like one group of people like uh, a particular group of people they are uh, feeling offensive so what i want to say about them for example I mean, see, first of all see i do not think about others and if others have time to think about me that's their uh, bad luck and that also proves that they don't have work since i'm working i don't have the time to think of others who think about me so instead of thinking about my work they should think about their own work so no one can hurt archive no never nobody nobody and uh, recently i saw like uh, allu arvind has uh, given a, a very long speech and he even got a negative comments about the speech and as well as a uh, positive comments mostly uh, he got a very See, negative comments about it first of all that particular uh, speech i think he's given that a long time back and they're trying to circulate it uh, uh, making people feel that he's done it now which is not the truth he said some things about me in the context when cred happened some 2 years back or whenever they are recirculating that that is not in this context of power star um so again coming to this uh, power star movie uh, all of them like almost everyone except you uh, everyone are telling that as a story of uh, pavan kalyan what do you want to say about yeah, it but i always said it is based upon some uh, real life characters and it's a fictional story so beyond that there is nothing for me to say about power star story and character Okay. No, if it is one character, we think okay, it's just a coincidence. But lot of characters. Th- this is th- this is a regular question everyone are asking you. I know you are bored of that, but still I want to ask you the same question. It's the same thing because see, all of them are fictional characters. Even a Russian yeah. girl. Everyone. Even each and no, no, see, each and every one. So then it's a question of asking one in particular doesn't arise. So we can we can say that it is a false, like it's it's not true. What you are saying, it's then like then you fictional. can see they can wait and watch it uh, day after. So what do you want to say? Like uh, finally, what do you want to say? Uh, see, about if this, you like uh, the Taylor, see, see if you like the Taylor, see, hey, you guys don't see it. Yeah. Yeah, you have given twenty five rupees of uh, payment for uh, to watch, but now it has released in the uh, movie. But uh, everyone are saying that uh, because uh, no one is paying and watching. he himself made yeah, a see, release see people will say what they see people will believe what they want to believe okay so no matter what i say about it doesn't make a difference so that is not true then yeah see basically the fact that it has got 25 lakh views in one day in spite of pan kalyan fans being against it is the proof enough of the popularity of the thing and after that i don't want to defend anything and uh, coming to ott platform so many movie directors i have interviewed one or uh, two or more uh, movie directors like they are saying why rgv has such a creative mind is a such a legend uh, why he want to go to ott platform see, why not the movie see first of all the living internet theaters are not going to come back for one year point 1 mm-hmm. point 2 is i am not going to waste my time doing dishes and sweeping floors and all that okay the point of a film is a content where the consumer wants to watch is his choice we have home theater technologies which are better than screens okay and above all it's my wish so i rather want them to do their own work instead of commenting on my work so all the directors now uh, during this uh, crisis a uh, corona virus pandemic crisis everyone are like uh, at home you're the only one who is working so you're not afraid of corona virus or something like that No. Okay, sir, I'm not sure Because this. you're not. You see, if it comes, it comes. When it comes, I will see it. I don't want to be scared. Or what if it comes and all that? If it comes, let's see. We'll so you it. don't even want to do take a precautions like prevention. No, you want to be like a, you're leading a normal life. Yeah. You're not using any sanitizers or mouth mask. Nothing. You're leading a normal life. You're welcoming it. I you're don't not welcoming it. it. I you're not, you're I open to it. I do not believe it. they work. Okay. You don't believe well, that the virus exists. No, 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 I do not believe the precautions will work. If you if you have to get it, if you have to dial, anyway get it. A lot of people were practicing sanitization and wearing masks also got. People who didn't practice also didn't get. So I don't think that is any uh, guarantee of uh, anything protecting you. So I would rather take the chance. So for every question, there is a logical answering. It's not like uh, uh, you don't want to answer, or it's not like no s like that. There is a proper logical reasoning and all analytical things and and all. That's uh, it's really a next level. <laughs> I'm appreciating you. Know, I'm giving yeah. a good compliment for you. 
and uh, thank you so much sir uh, thanks for uh, bearing me and my questions sir yeah, i was afraid uh, of right. like whether like i don't want this question i don't want this <laughs> because i know rgv like uh, in the media itself like he is very um, what do you say for angry person <laughs> but you are very cool thank you so much sir uh, thanks a lot Thank you.